Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. These are the last of my Chromacryl paints. Um, so I've got the raw sienna, the cool yellow and the black. But I've only got a small amount of black. Um, but I'm going to do a flip cup. So I really only want a small amount of black. Because um, black tends to take over. Invades your world. So... I'm also going to add just a little bit of the Reeves acrylic white, titanium white, just to break it a little bit. Um, so the black is almost completely gone. Where's my black stirring stick? I don't know. It's usually into this one. So it's almost completely gone in there. There's hardly any there. What I'm actually going to do is start us off with a pet puddle in the middle. Just to get a bit of colour going over that centre. And get rid of some of the black out of the actual mix. Now, that's really thick. Which is great awareness to have. Let's just smear it out. Cover the whole record. Now these are the same colors that I used on my large record. This is only a 45 rather than a 78. Um, the large one I did with the blow and um, blowing technique through the middle and that looks really cool even with the orange coming through from the label it still has a very cool look about it so quite liking that one so now we only have a very small amount of black still in there. I'm just going to put just a dash of water. Tiny little amount because it's a tiny little amount of paint. But just thin that up a bit more. Still really thick. I actually have two bottles of water on my table. I have a big sipper bottle and also that little um, squirt bottle. That's looking better. The little squirt bottle allows you just to get just a couple of little drops in there if that's all you require. Whereas the sipper bottle, when you're mixing large quantities of paint, you need to add quite a bit of water at a time. So that's a good one to do. Now, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is add these directly to that black pot and um, use that as the flip cup. Now, the big important part really for me is to keep the black and the white separate. And what that does is it um, it means that you don't get as much grey. You're going to get some grey. And hey, that's okay. And... How does it get any better? All right, there we go. That's it. Um, <laughs> the record's small enough to get it, my hand right around it to be able to pick it up like that, which is kind of cool. And let's see. What that's created. Oh, it's created suction is what it's created. Uh. Oh. 
So we've got heaps of paint and a few air bubbles in there as well. Oh, but look at those cells. Hello, cells. Wait a little bit more. Those are pretty. What putting the black paint on first does is um, it's created a wet surface for the paint to glide over, which is awesome. Now I've got some gray over this side, which I'm not loving. So I'm going to be tipping that off. I'm trying to keep these cells here. So got a lot of paint on here, so that's totally fine. There's heaps for me to be able to pour off what I don't want. What's not pretty to me. You know what I've loved about doing this style painting is um, the more I've painted, the more I've been willing to see the beauty of colours that in the past I used to hate. Brown was a colour that I could not even fathom anybody wanting to wear, have in their home. It really didn't make sense to me when people chose brown <laughs> and that is just my point of view or was just my point of view now I'm starting to enjoy it so how's it get any better than that I'm even putting it in my paintings Just touching the edges to make sure that that's all all good. What's that? It's a lump. Out, lump, out, damn lump. All right, just pop that back down again on there. The white's doing some weird stuff, and that's interesting because I have. Notice that the white does weird stuff if it's not the chromacryl. Um, I had problems with my white. Zoom in a little bit so you can see. Um, it, the white that I use is my negative space. That went really wonky. Um, can you actually see? Zoom in and show you what I'm meaning by that. See how in here it's looking powdery? But it only seems to be doing that where the white is. So I'm intrigued. What is it about Chromacryl that doesn't like other people's white? <laughs> um, now, I haven't tried the Chromacryl with other colors of other ranges so I don't know whether it's just the white that it's doing that or whether it is um, whether it would be any other range that's an interesting question Maybe I could explore that with the leftover yellow and raw sienna. So there you go. Um, it's not something I would have in my home, but I definitely like it. And I can definitely see somebody choosing that. Um, 
either to have up on their wall just as it is or putting a clock fitting in it and having a small table clock that'd be quite cool on one of those you know one of those plate stands and have that as a clock on a plate stand that'd be pretty cool so cool thank you all for joining me I had fun with this little 45 record and um, what else is possible how much more fun can I have I think I might go back to some canvases for a while do a few other bits and pieces but thank you for joining me have fun I adore you if you've enjoyed this video please subscribe if you haven't enjoyed it check out some of my other videos you might enjoy those <laughs> um, click the like button comment down below if you've got any questions or uh, if you see any interesting cool shapes in there that you want to describe to me and how much fun can we all have today what else is possible bye bye